Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are continuing on with the tanker once again, uh, and as you guys can see, we've got a few issues with balancing. Um, the back of the boat is really low, the front of the boat is really high, and uh, we've got some things that we can put in place to try and change that a little bit, uh, which involves sort of deleting this entire thing and replacing it with wing sections, which is going to take quite a while, uh, and that is exactly what we're going to try and do today. Uh, we might also, in fact we will also, um, try and put in another cooling pub, because we kind of need it. So um, that's what, we, what we're going to work on today, uh, let's get on with it. Okay, so to begin with we might as well do the cooling system thingamabobby because that was easy, or oh, that should be easy to do. Actually before we do that, before we do that, we need to remember something. Um, and you guys were saying that I put it on this one, and you guys are correct. So, um, wait, are you correct? Hold on. The gauge goes up to here, which, yeah, is wrong. It needs to go to this one instead. Um, because at the, before, uh, we were reading the fuel gauge for the main tank, um, but we actually wanted to read it for this one, which is our fuel tank. Um, which means that the, it should go down, uh, this time, because our fuel wasn't going down last time. Anyway, um, yeah, now that that's done, let's go downstairs and work on the cooling system. So, um, somebody said that this was the wrong way around, but it's not, so let's ignore that. Good. Um, right, okay, we want this done on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this, so we have access to the bottom. Okay, good. We're gonna go ahead and put one of these in. Alright, nice. Uh, we'll do it the same way as every other one. There we go, good. Uh, we also need to do it on the inside too, so we'll put one here, and we'll go ahead and replace it with this. Here we go. So coolant in should be like this one. There we go. Good. And we're going to pipe up to the tippity top where this one is, and we're going to delete that, and all of this down to here. Yes. And we need an angled piece just to put that bit in, and we should be good. So pipe, we're going to go ahead and do this. Good. That's fine. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and put one here. Uh, if it fits properly, which it does. And if we do this, good. Nice. Alright, awesome. So those two are fine. Why am I not mirroring this properly? Oh, no. Okay, hopefully I haven't deleted anything that I wanted not to. Wanted to not delete. Oh, I don't know. Have I? I mean, I've put them in the wrong places. Yeah, because that's all the way over there. Right, I'm going to undo all this, and um, I'll do it again. <laughs> Alright, okay, so I haven't done it again, but we're going to go ahead and delete this again, because we need to. So we go from there. No, we don't delete. No, no, we delete this one all the way up to the tippity top, which is this one right here. Good. That's fine. That is completely fine. Uh, obviously, we need to plumb this one back in, so we just do this, and that was easy. We're going to also do a similar thing on this side. So delete this up to there. And that is good. All right, nice. We then need the right color. We need an angled piece of the right color, like so. And bosh, there we go. All right, so that one should work fine now. Um, we're also then going to delete this piece again, like I did last time, pretty much. And we're going to put it down here. Good. We then need a pump, which will be exactly the same as that one. So like this. And we need it to go all the way up to the top, <laughs> pretty much. Up to, I believe, here, I think. Yep, and we need it to come across, if we can, like so. Put this one on, yep, and we are back to where we were a second ago, I think. Is that in the right place? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's one closer as well. That's good. Uh, right, we need to go this side, and we need to do pretty much exactly the same thing, so that we can put this one here, like so. This should be in. So the hot comes in, the cold goes out. This is the wrong way around. It's the wrong way around. Wait, which means... Hold on. Do they have an in and an out? That's out. And that's in. Oh! Uh-oh. Right, okay. This this is dumb. Uh, but fine. Okay. So, the reason it wasn't working is because it would, would never work. Alright, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Right, so what we're going to have to do then, is turn all of these pumps around. And then, the colours will be wrong, but that doesn't matter. That's fine. 
Don't worry about it. Everything is fine. Bring it up to here. Take it inwards. We obviously need an angled one to bring it outwards. Good. We need one of these to bring it here. And then we need an angled piece. Finally. There we go. To attach it together. There we go. Good. So all we need to do now is turn this around and this around. Okay. Um, pump. Yep. We need to turn them all around so that they are like this. There we go. Alright, so that's like that. Delete these ones. Have them be the other way around. Like so, and like so. And we can just paint these ones. Like this. And there we go. Even though it's the wrong way around. But we don't need to touch them ever again, so it doesn't matter. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Let's just see if we overheat again. So we'll attach all of these to here. There we go. One, two, three, and four. We're going to do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, and four. Fantastic. And we need them all to be attached to one. Yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. That should be all of them. Perfect. Uh, do they have a uh, Does everything have electricity? I think. Nothing. Oh, yeah. It goes straight to this generator. Wait, nothing else has electricity, though. Where's it getting electricity from? There's only two that come off this, and the generators aren't attached to anything. Interesting. Right, we're going to attach it to both of those. Perfect. And now, we shall see if it cools itself. Because that's all we need. Okay, we got it running. Perfect. Our speed is n an 8. Okay, it's 8. Let's go downstairs, and we'll see what's happening down there. Uh, if it says it needs coolant still, then that's annoying, but fine. <laughs> uh, right, go down. It still needs coolant. Wait, so does that one. How? Do I, can I put a flow meter in here somewhere? Because surely coolant should be a thing. And that should, should already be happening. I think. Unless I need to change this entire engine setup. Which would suck. But um, it's definitely possible. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, they still overheat. So all of that change doesn't do anything. We actually died. <laughs> we actually died. Alright, okay. So grab the boat. Grab the boat. And we need to change the boat. Yes, we do. Um, so, I guess we need, like, a flow meter or something like that. Just to see if the cold water is even going in. Um, so, uh, let's go with... Uh, flow? It'd be a flow meter. Yeah, flow gauge. Yeah. Uh, one-way valve for controlling flow. Allows flow to move from the input side of the valve to the output, but resists fluid flow in the other direction. Interesting. Okay, so, um... Okay, are these engines on the top the same? That one's out. Which means that this is wrong. <laughs> uh, uh, that's so dumb. Okay, and this one is out, which is correct. Which means that this one should be in. Which is out! What have I done? Has t turning all of these around just, just made it wrong? I don't know what's happened. Is this the other way around? What's going on over here? Hold on. Is this in? This is in. Okay, so that's wrong. In. No, that's wrong. Eh? What? What's happened? Okay, hold on. And this one is in. Okay. And this one is in. Turn them all around again. Because they're all wrong. What in the... How have I managed this? I don't understand. How have I got it so wrong? Okay, do all four of those. Drag it all the way to this side. All four of those. Cut it. Flip it. Paste it again. Merge them. And merge that one. Because it's separate. Press play. I'm assuming they're all still connected. In fact, let's make sure of that before we do anything else. Are they all still connected, please? Uh, in terms of electricity and stuff. That one is. It's mainly this one that I'm worried about. And it is. Alright, cool. Okay, we're doing it again. We're doing it again. Okay, go downstairs. See if it says coolant. If it says coolant in red, then it's still broken. Yes. Okay, down the stairs we go. Coolant is fine. Fuel and air supply seems to be bad for some reason. <laughs> I don't understand that, but that's fine. What I might end up doing, actually, is put a pump on here. 
uh, and actually putting a pump on the fuel as well. Um, and probably on the exhaust too. But that means there's a lot of electricity going into pumps that are just running the engines. So maybe that's a bad idea. I don't know. Anyway, it looks like we aren't going to explode anymore. So um, we're just going to keep it running in a straight line for a little while. Uh, and we'll see if it does explode on full, uh, full throttle. And we'll see what happens. Oh, and there we go. That's our fuel situation there. So we've got quite a lot. <laughs> um, but it is going down really fast, actually. Uh, pretty fast indeed. So we might need to sort that out. We might need to clamp on something. Um, but our battery is fine. Our speed is fine. Um, and yeah, we're doing, we're doing all right. Okay, nothing has exploded. I'm going to jump downstairs just to check if the coolant is still fine. And if it is, we can sort of give up on that. That'll be okay. Okay, good. We need to sort out this room as well because it's, it's annoying. Um, but coolant is fine. Air is fine. Coolant, air, fuel, everything is a-okay. Good. All right. Everything's fixed. All right. Now it's time to do, uh, you know, have I done the deck? The deck is all really heavy too. Um, so we, we need to change that, but first off, we need to delete this entire wall, like so, get some wings, and replace it. Yes, so the, the wall is like grey, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if we put it in like so, there we go, one, two, and three, that'll do fine. Okay, if we then flip it, and do it here, one, two, this does mean we can't really have windows, but that's probably fine. Okay, build that one up there, delete this entire front piece, and do the same thing. We just need a wall. Here we go. One, two. Okay, we can only have two. <laughs> that is fine. This is A-OK. -okay. Do this one, and this one, and fill it in. Okay, good. Nice. Uh, we then need to move up, and we need to do the rest of them. Okay, so I've re replaced a few more pieces. Uh, we can do pretty much this entire wall up to here, so we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, just like so, it's pretty easy to do. So we're just going to shove in a bunch of these, and wherever we can't fit one, we'll just build blocks again, um, just to replace it. So that's fine, there we go, good. Uh, we need to do the rear end as well, we need to do this stack, and we need to do a lot of this. However, we don't want to demolish this thing, so I'll work hard not to do that. And we need to do these as well. I don't know how much we can actually fit on here, but we'll do it anyway. So grab one of these, bring it over here, and one, and two. We can fit two. Although actually, if we delete this, then we can just do this. One, two. All right, there we go. Cool. One, and two, and voila. It does stick out the back a bit here, though. That's a little bit annoying. Okay, so that's all done. I wonder how much glass weighs. How much do the windows weigh? Hold on. Window. How much does one of these weigh? Four. How much does a block weigh? A block weighs probably one. Okay, so one. That covers nine. And it only... It's only four. Alright, that's good. So that, that weighs a lot less. Uh, a wing. How much does a wing cover? Um, 21. A wing covers 21. And its mass is only five. You see, that's insane. So, using wing pieces, very good idea. Right, so I'm just going to continue putting pieces in. Um, we just need a lot more wing pieces so that the back of the boat is less heavy than the front. We might also put some weight in the front too. Um, and in fact, if we want to do that, we could just level the boat out that way. Uh, but if we want to be more efficient, we should do it the way that I was already doing it. But um, let's just delete a huge chunk of this and replace it with weight blocks. And we'll see what happens from there. I also want to paint the bottom of the boat red. Because I want to make sure it's always red. Otherwise, it'll look weird. It will look very strange. So we got to go to the back. Because these bits are brown. There we go. Uh, we paint each individual one of these a different color. Um, that's it. Alright, cool. Let's see how it sits in the water now. With all that weight in the front. Hopefully it changes it slightly. Do 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 do. I mean, it was quite a lot of weight, and still a little bit heavier at the back. Just a little bit, though. That's alright. I think that's fine. You know, I think the issue with this uh, thing is going to be annoying. Uh, with this roof. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy pretty much the entire top of the boat upwards one. <laughs> um, just so that I can do it. Um, whether that's a good plan or not, I don't know. I don't know. Right, okay, we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it anyway. Okay, so, reach all the way out to the side. All the way. 
Bring it back, because we want to copy the funnel up as well. All of this needs to go up, and if we copy it all the way to the front of the boat, literally every bit of this needs to go up too. So we go all the way to the end, we drag it up. There we go, so we copy everything. Uh, we're literally just going to cut it. Okay, move it up by one. There we go, paste it, and voila, we've saved it. Everything is fine. Uh, it does mean that I need to fill in all of these pieces. The stairs need to be fixed um, and stuff like that. However, um, that will no longer be infuriating every time we walk into this room. And every time we come underneath this thing. Because you have to duck every time. So I'm going to quickly sort out all of this stuff. Uh, and I'll be back in a second. Right, so I've pretty much fixed all of the back of the boat now. Uh, this looks a little bit weird. But um, if we go ahead and paint things the right colours... I think eventually it'll all be okay. Um, however, it's all built in different colors, which is really weird and slightly annoying. But that's fine. Everything is fine. Um, I do need to still do these, but that's okay. Um, and I think, other than that, we've actually done it quite well. Oh, we need to do this one too. Um, but all of these things are really easy to fix, like so. Uh, and this means that we should be able to walk underneath the bottom now. Um, which is good, I think. Yeah? I don't know. Is everybody happy with that? I think everybody might be okay with that. Um, so that's good. What else do we want to do? What else do we want to do? I think we should have some water cannons uh, somewhere on here as well. Just in case we need to put out a fire somewhere. That would be kind of cool. Um, and other than that, I think we're good. Um, yeah. Okay, right. Cool. So, I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. In the next one, I'm going to put some lights in. Um, and I want to put in, like, a engine panel room thingy-mobobby. Um, because someone said, why don't you make it so that, um, you have to go down to the engine room to actually turn on the engine? Uh, and that's what I wanted to do anyway, but that is a good idea. So, that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make an engine panel thingy-mobobby down here somewhere, uh, which will allow us to turn on the engine. So, that is the plan, hopefully, for next time. Anyway, uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys for watching. We fixed it, finally. Um, it's now cooled, which is good. Uh, it moves, which is good. Um, and it's also less awkward in here. We can actually move around, which is perfect. That seemed to take way more time than it, it should have, though. Um, but I want you guys to, to help me out a little bit here. How many should we split it into? Okay, first off, that's my first question. Um, secondly, whoa, what is this? What is this? Hold on. Get out of here, you. I don't know what, what... What is that part of? I don't know what that's a part of. Um, secondly... Whoa. Um... Do, 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 do. Where should we have the lifeboat? Okay, so I'm thinking we'll have a lifeboat in the middle here at some point. Um, well, I'm, I might also do the lights and stuff up here as well. Uh, somebody said about a helipad on the roof of the tanker. Don't really like the idea of that. Um... Yeah, what else can we put on the deck as well? So, uh, I'm having issues trying to think of things to decorate the deck with. It doesn't necessarily have to be useful, um, but some way of decorating the deck would be nice. Uh, so, I'm going to I'm gonna wait for your comments on that, and um, hopefully we'll be able to do some of them in the next video. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye!